act like they don't know you and you never did nothing for them in all your life. When they begin to do that, can you worship? Can I talk to you all? When the children whom you sacrificed yourself for, whom you gave everything for, whom you put your life on the line for, when they grow up and no one speak to you no more. Listen, I'm in somebody's business here. We getting ready to go home. This right here popped up at the end of this, but somebody need to hear this. Come on, the people that have been placed around you, Come on. they have been placed around you to perfect your love life. Come on, sir. Why? Because now that you are matured, you know that love is pure worship. Yes. So now you're not just loving so you can feel good. You're loving the, so for the pleasure of the Father. Yes. You're loving to be in oh, all this is so good, y'all. Yeah. Yes. You're loving to be in connection yes. with Him. You're loving to have a flow with Him. So if you, if God needs you to love, how will He not put people around you to live out of that? Come on, sir. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on Apostle. Yes, God, pay me this kind of stuff. Come this on, should be free. Let me say it again. Let me say it. On, if God knows that the best package that you can give Him is your worship, why do you think He made love a command? Because he knows that you can't do it unless he make you do it. That's right. And since love is pure worship, I'm saying it again because somebody can't be hit it. Come on. Don't get angry at the people around you. And when you get angry, deal with it right away. Go before God and say, I'm angry right now, but I know you can't. You are not going to be honest with God. You are not going to tell him, listen, I, I messed that one up. I shouldn't have cussed him out right then. I'll apologize later. Next time I won't cuss. But I, I know I messed that up. But I'm going to practice loving them. Go ahead. I love telling me love, man. Sometimes you tell them, I had that thought. Come on. Go ahead. How many of you are planning this week how you're going to leave? Am I the only one? You're lying. <laughs> But I can always go to the place. No, see, the one thing you'll get when you come here, I love that woman. That's my best friend, my everything. But let me tell you something. I told the people in Nassau, these relationships, if you're married for a whole year, six months gonna be good, and six months gonna be testing. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Six months they're gonna be doing the right thing. And six months they're gonna be testing. Yes. So when the time for your growth, y'all ain't saying nothing. Sometimes eleven months they gonna be testing. And what month is that? They gonna be changing. Y'all ain't got this. So you have to hold this. That's the guy you came to church. You have to hold this. What he wants to do is develop your love life. Amen. Can I say it again? Yeah. Because love is pure worship. Yeah. 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 And because of what God has for you, that the relationships around you are so tough. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Come on, Come on, Come on now. Because you'll ask yourself, what else can I do? Come on now. I'm under the anointing of the world. Yes, sir. You'll ask yourself that, what else can I do? You ask, what can I do and why can't they see? Okay. Take the focus off of them. Amen. Put it on your worship. Yes. Now the devil will tell you you're a fool. Yes. And people who you really trust will tell you, you shouldn't put up with that. But they are talking in the flesh. That's right. I'm talking under the anointing of God. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Because the anointing and the breakthrough is through your love life. Yes. Because you, when I'm loving in spite of, now I'm in a place of worship. Yes. Yes. I'm going to be honest with you. Some of y'all who have this apostolic call, you know how that thing can get on your neck. Oh, yes. And convince you the whole world hates you. Yes, yes, yes. Am I the wrong church? Yes, 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 yes. Convince you the people who you're sleeping next to will never get you and they'll never get it. Come on, sir. That's just me. Come on, come on now. But if you understand, it's for your promotion. Yes. yes. This is so good. All the hell I caught coming to church. My wife would tell you she left me on the warfare trying to get here. Come on, me too. Come on, talk to me. But you know, I am. Go to the sky. For me to tell you this. In the, your proximity, Shamika, in your house, at your job, in your church, God in his particular planning put the people around you to keep you focused on your love life. Because if you don't, you'll end up leaving church, you'll leave the house, you'll leave the job. 
So the only way you want to stay is through loving. And yes. that's what he wants. Yes, yes, yes. He wants you to humble yourself. Yes. <laughs> and when Sam said, Get out! Run. Somebody spirit is being promoted right now. I am a host. Somebody make a decision right now. I'm gonna change my mind about what I said yesterday. I'm gonna change my mind about what I said I was gonna do yesterday. Somebody make a decision right now. And then they want to I'm gonna change my mind. I just heard the voice of God. I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna walk in reverence. I'm gonna walk in obedience because I wanna watch them. I wanna have peace in my life. I'm trying to go home just like y'all pray for me. I, I wanna have peace in my life. Somebody spirit, God, I feel you, Jesus. Yes, it's strong. Shout out my heart the Oscar. Man, what would happen if you go to your house and say, I'm going to out love everybody under this roof? Amen. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me tell you something. Since we're here, we're already here at the end of my You cannot build anything without unity. Amen. Amen. You can't have true unity without proper fellowship. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And you can't have proper fellowship and an honest communication. Come on! Amen. Amen. That's good. And you can't have honest communication without a person of honest integrity and perfection. Yes. Perfection in you. Yes. <laughs> Run that down. That's not my message. Somebody need to hear it. Say it again. You cannot build without unity. Because what, you'll be fighting against one another. Yes. Yes. You put one block up, they put a block down. Yes. Yes. Because y'all have not fellowship, you have not talked. Yes. That's why you need communication. Yes. And proper communication means when I talk, you listen. Yes. When you talk, I listen. Yes. It does not mean you barking at me. That's not proper communication. It does not mean you write all the time. That's not proper communication. Proper communication say, I don't believe a word you're saying, but I'm going to listen. Because what will happen is, I'm going to catch it if I listen. Yeah. 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 You listen, you'll get it. Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 You're going to be surprised when I cuss you. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, what God wants, look at you, Mr. Shipman. Shipman is one of our real faithful members. Yes, sir. I'm just going to leave God that God sent him back to the house of state. Somebody say amen. Amen. Now, his wife might not be here next week, but she'll be in the show pretty soon. So <laughs> Y'all know she don't stay long. Someone say amen. But, but good to see you, Mr. Shipman. But here's my message to you. What God wants is you. Yes. And here's what the enemy tells all of us in here. It's too late. You waited too long. You missed something. How can you miss something if you're on the eternal plan? Okay. Then God called Abraham. Abraham said, Me, I'm, I'm 75. God said, You just getting started. I'm not going to bless you until you get 100. <laughs> when I started pastoring, the devil told me too old. I was 46. I'm still in 47 right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm 46 years old. You don't buy Who will listen to you? What God wants, gentlemen, love is you. The gold, He wants you. The gifts and all that stuff is good. And what God said to you this morning to learn that He wants you first to wash up them. Don't make nobody too big that you can't love them. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. It ain't yeah. always, that's good, all yeah. too small. Yes. But sometimes we see people in certain conditions yes. and we pity them instead of loving them. Wow, yes, sir. Yes, that's sir. real good. Yes, sir. That's just a sidebar right there for somebody. 
Wow. Yeah, I'm trying to close this. I've been trying to close for 10 minutes. So I want you to understand that what he wants from you, what, he, what God wants from me, is for me to wash up. I'm not always feeling it. Sight is going to tell me not to do it. Yep. Yes. Because okay. sight is going to tell you they don't deserve it. Yep. Yes. They shouldn't treat you that way. Yes. Yep. My yep. Lord. Yep. Yep. By now, they should know better. Yes. 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 All of that. Come on, sir. Well, you ain't going to like it. I'm all of this. But what's this? What's this? What you say?